certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, since we haven't seen a sunset, we got to look right behind me from our high V tower cam. It's looking like a cotton candy sky is looking a little more orange and yellow. Now that we're going into 613 temperatures, if you're heading out the door, maybe to dinner, maybe going to get some drinks. We're sitting at 44 degrees, so you will want a jacket because that's going to continue to decrease throughout this evening. Northeast winds at eight miles an hour. So the good news is winds not too bad, but those are really going to be ramping up as we head into our overnight hours. Taking a look at the bigger picture. Picture. You can see clouds trying to thin out. Unfortunately, they're going to be thickening back up here in the next few hours. As we head into tomorrow, we do have a severe weather risk in effect for areas down in Bentonville, Harrison, Mountain Home. That's a marginal risk level one out of five. And then as you head a little bit further south into Fayetteville, that is a slight risk level two out of five. So any storm that gets going in that region will have the potential to have some gusty winds and even some large hill. So timing all of this out for you as we head into 8 a.m. You can already start to see areas north of I-44 starting to see some heavier bands of showers. They're really going to start to fire up as they head towards the east. So here's 11 a.m. So if you live over in Rolla, Salem, Eminence, down into West Plains, you're going to have some pretty heavy showers. Now, as we head into the afternoon hours, the overnight hours, that's when south of I-44 will be starting to see those showers. Here's 5 p.m. We're also going to be watching that storm over near Joplin as it continues to move towards the south and towards the east because it could have some gusty winds even some small hail associated with it. That's going to be moving out. The good news is as we head into Sunday, you know, yesterday we expected it to be cloudy all day. Well, it looks like this system actually going to be moving out a little bit quicker, which means more sunshine is in the forecast for your Sunday, which is great news. It is going to be cloudy, however, so make sure to take that into account. As we head into tomorrow, winds are going to be ramping up from the south and continuing throughout the day. You can see wind gusts up in the upper 30s, low 40s. That's going to be the theme as we head into Sunday as well. So probably won't need that umbrella. It will be breaking because of the wind. So make sure you do have that rain jacket and those rain boots. The good news is no flooding as we head into this weekend. You can already start to see that maybe a tenth of an inch, three quarters of an inch. I think the heavier amounts are going to be around an inch, just depending on where those thunderstorms really start to line up. Temperatures tonight, 37 degrees, feeling more like the mid 20s, though, as you wake up tomorrow morning. And that's all thanks to those winds. 47 degrees here in Springfield for tomorrow afternoon. 50 over in Joplin and 45 down in Branson. Here's your seven day forecast. As we head into this weekend, cloudy, dreary tomorrow, that sun is going to be coming back out on Sunday. And that's good news because we're going to actually have an extra extra hour of daylight. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. And then as we head into Wednesday, 63 degrees before more showers and storms are in the picture. Bailey and Steve. All right, thanks.